Let's let's go to that planet. orbit with this. You would think. What just happened? current that prevents you from getting any closer? System. This push you underwater. If you flew into it. Nope. And send you off the surface. All right. Well, anyway, that was interesting. I guess the idea here could be to Alright, I think my ship should be in a pretty good orbit. Hello. Oh, that's basically like an airlock, huh? Maybe? Alright, what's this? Control module. Alright. Launch module. Probe tracking module. Hmm. Alright. Let's check those out by, like, basically their number. If possible. Deep projection stone. From Cassava, I have bad news, Evans. Yarrow says there was a problem with the pr proposed power sources, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. 
from Avens. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, <laughs> Cassava. From Cassava, I wish I were my friend, but no, they aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. From Cassava, tell Privet and Mallow they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. From Evans, an update. Mallow and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Idea may feel responsible. Launch module projection stone. From Evans, Mallow, my better 50%. Cassava is. <laughs> better half. Spending the last of the cannon components soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. From Avens, Cassava tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting. We are not under any circumstances to go above. From Mallow, I see. And am I right to think that consequently we'll be ignoring that setting? From Evans, I can posit with nearly 100% certainty that our friends have accounted for our natures, so I suggest we do. From Evans, given the orbital probe cannon, all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. From Mallow, yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can. I'll make some adjustments. From Mallow, the thought of concluding our elders' curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. Alright. module projection stone huh? what the heck oh Can aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory, gravity field activated. Five minutes fifty seven seconds ago, request to launch probe received from Ash Twin Project. Actually is based on how much time? Request to launch probe received from Ash Twin Project. Six minutes. So probably about the same time that I woke up. Wait a second. Is that why this is kind of burst apart? This fired a probe and then burst apart, yeah. Begin launch log, orbital probe cannon, launch request received, probe launch successful. Probe tracking module is receiving data from probe. Where did that probe go? Warning orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. Orbital one. Uh, orbital probe gammon in there. Probe cannon damage report. Several structural stress detected, assessing damage to modules. Control module intact, no structural damage. Launch module, viewport window fresh. Module is exposed to vacuum of space. Probe tracking module is missing, of course. How do I. What about the rest of it? Okay. Um, 
right, so we got launch mod. I've got launch module projection. Okay. What the heck? Translate this. Nope. Gosh, I don't know what any of that means. What's that flashing light? Alright. Well. Uh, no, come on. Be reasonable. There we go. Let's check this out, if we can. Is this the one that was completely destroyed, torn off? Ah, yes it is. Oh, that's kind of useless, isn't it? Alright, so there's a big break in the glass out there, so we can go through that to get there. Uh, one, two, three. This one is completely broken off. And that must have fallen into... into the thing, most likely. Okay, so where's the one with the broken glass? Is it this one? Or is this the one that was intact? This looks intact. Nope, no, no, that's, that's the right one. Get in there. Tracking module projection. <sighs> Imagine Privet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. From Privet, I'm honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? From Mallow, fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once anyway, so who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? From Privet, I would mind, Mallow. I would mind because we won't be able to, we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Well, we've got the probe tracking module projection stone. So, we should be fine. Unfortunately, yeah, we can't use any of that. All right. I get the impression that this broke off and landed somewhere deep inside the planet. Okay. Good to know. And this is where I couldn't go through. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, this is all compromised. We can't get, get any, uh, anything out of that. All right, where's my ship? on the other side of the planet. Excellent. Right. 
Okay. I do not have a lot of fuel for this. Wait, what is this? Oh yeah, hold on. This is that central spot. Okay, so... Let's see. Uh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Three minutes oxygen remaining. We want to go back to this one because there was oxygen in here. All right, that's that's all I needed was to refill that. That's all I needed from there. And then I think there's one more direction we can go that I haven't checked yet. Over here. Uh, let's see, that's probably where we came from. And, oh, that just overlooks. It would look at the probe. Okay. Alright, so. I would like to get back to my ship. Gosh, oh jeez. Uh. Okay. Um. Come on. I might just be screwed. Whoa, whoa. What? I think getting to my ship is not going to happen. And anyway, we're probably about to hit the supernova event. information did we learn? I, I'm a little lost. So yeah, it was an orbital probe cannon. Construction yard. What was the construction yard? I 
three access ways branching out from the central hub area. It was created to find the precise location of the eye of the universe. Push it above its maximum power setting to create the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Giants Deep. On Giants Deep. Receiving data from the launch probe, any um, Nomai aboard the probe tracking module would be the first to view the coordinates of the eye of the universe. A Nomai computer reports probe tracking module is missing. I saw it through a Nomai projection tool. It looks like the module is underwater, except for electricity outside the viewport. And then I saw something fly out of Giant Steep, right? Uh, launch module badly damaged. Protection pool is still intact. Mello argued it wouldn't matter if the cannon's structural integrity was compromised since they only needed to fire the probe once. Perfect countered that they wouldn't be capable of receiving the probe's data if the tracking module was destroyed, of course. Control module recently received a request from the Ash Twin Project to launch the probe. Cannon was aligned with a randomly selected, pro randomly selected probe trajectory. The probe was successfully launched, but the cannon's structural integrity was compromised in the process. Damage is detected in multiple modules. Yeah. That's all the data we got from that. Hmm. Right. Large ruptured stone ruptured from the inside. What's this? Sun the city. Yeah, there was more to explore there, wasn't there? Hmm. Hello. What's this? Unidentified signal nearby. Oh, hey. It's this person. What's up, Gabbro? Nice, it's you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So hey, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know. It's pretty weird. What about you? Have you died lately, or is it just me? No, it's me too. We're in a time... Time has been behaving unusual lately. Yeah, time loop makes sense. Cool. Uh, you're taking this pretty well. Heh, <laughs> right back at you. Personally, I like new experiences. I've never been in a time loop before. I mean, I don't think I've been in a time loop before this one. Looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell that time's gone all weird. I tried radioing Hornfells and asking if they'd die too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. Even if I tell Hornfells about the time loop, they never remember by the next one. They don't realize anything's different. Here's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all my memories from that loop replay back to me. I'm pretty sure that's related to this big stone Nomai statue I found on one of the other islands. I was looking at it, and the statue opened its eyes and just started glowing. It replayed my memories like it had seen them through my own eyes. Just like what happens each time I die. Which is what happened with me with the statue at the museum. You too, huh? Then the Nomai statues must have something to do with why we're the only ones we're aware of the time loop. So, no glowing statue, no time loop awareness? I think that's going to be my leading theory, but if you find anything new about the statues or this time loop, let me know, okay? 
I'll be here. Anyway, that's what's new with me, but hey, this is your first solo voyage. Uh, kind of. Let's talk about you, you know? How's space treating you? Uh, let's start with what you're doing out here. <laughs> what, of it, what are any of us doing here, really? Nah, I'm out here exploring the system, same as you. Tell you what, outer space really gives you room to think. Quiet and peaceful out here. I mean, it's usually quiet and peaceful. Sometimes a cyclone comes by and lifts my little island paradise clean out of the water. Then, less peaceful. Okay. Uh, here's something you might like. At the start of every time loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky. At the start of every loop. Something must be happening up there in orbit around the planet. What else? What else? Have you been to the statue island? That's what I've been calling it, seeing as it's the island where I found the glowing on my statue. Get it? I was on the beach, Statue Island, when the whole Galloway business happened, by the way. It's a nice beach for that kind of thing. Give it a solid 7 out of 10 on the Gabriel Relaxation Scale. If you feel like checking out the Statue Island, it's the only one with two islands connected by a natural rock arch. Alright. So we were just... okay. And we're back. Excellent. Let's see if I can learn anything more from him. Have you ever watched Cyclone start long? I'm telling you, they put in trance to stare at them long enough. Uh... Well, okay. What's up with this planet? I know, right? Oh, you meant like, tell you more about it. Giant's Deep is a massive and mostly water. No surprise there. There's strong current, always. A ways beneath the surface prevents anything from sinking below. I tried everything I could to get past that current. Neither idea worked. <laughs> everything I could think of. Neither idea. <laughs> As for land masses, I counted four islands, including this one. There's also one with no mass statue on the beach. Cyclones are hard to miss. They'll toss up everything in the path. Islands included. A little tip if you get picked up. Try to land in the water. Less likely to kill you. Uh, alright. Where's your ship? Good question. Definitely on those planets. Cyclone cost is uh, pretty nice. Hope it's not lonely. Alright. Uh, can't break it apart. It's trying to happen. Too much power. Save for all the spider. I think that broke might be the wrong word. It looks like it's firing successfully at the beginning. Yep. Well, next loop. Let's go. Oh, goodness. I have to read that fast, otherwise I wouldn't get anywhere. <laughs>